Three reviewers, Amal, Kamal and, sorry, Amal, Bimal and Komal are tasked with selecting questions from a pool of 13 questions. Questions can be created by external subject matter experts, SMEs, or by one of the three reviewers. Each of the reviewers either approves or disapproves the question that is shown to them. The decision, their decisions lead to eventual acceptance or rejection of the question in the manner described below. Each of them looks at a question and says yes or no. And then there is a complex algorithm finally whether it, the question gets accepted or not. A question is created by an SME. It is reviewed first by Amal, then by Vimal. If both approve, then the question is accepted and is not reviewed by Komal. Both are yes, then it is not reviewed by Komal. If both disapprove the question, it is rejected and is not reviewed by Komal. So Komal comes only when it is a tiebreaker. I am assuming. Let's see. If one of them approves the question and the other disapproves it, then the question is reviewed by Komal. Then the question is accepted only if she approves it. So if it is a tie, she comes in and then she takes the final decision. A question created by one of the reviewers is decided upon by the other two. If a question is created by Amal, then it is first reviewed by Bimal. If Bimal approves the question, then it is accepted. Otherwise, it is reviewed by Komal. The question is then accepted only if Komal approves it. If Bimal approves, it's in. If Bimal doesn't approve, it has another chance. If Komal could approve, then it goes through. The question is then accepted only if Komal approves it. A similar approach process is followed for the questions created by Bimal, whose questions are first reviewed by Komal and then by Amal. Only if Komal disapproves it. Question created by Komal are first reviewed by Amal and then if required by Bimal. The cycle. Amal, Bimal and Komal. Bimal, Komal and Amal. Komal, Amal and Bimal. The following facts are known about the review process after its completion. So this is a process and then the results. Q2, Q6, Q9, Q11 and Q12 were rejected and the other questions were accepted. Amal reviewed Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6, Q8, Q10, Q11 and Q13. Bimal reviewed Q2, Q4, Q6 through Q9. What each of them reviewed? I'm not going to read all of that. We're going to already be sensing how we're going to get going to grab this data. I can't remember all of this. Q1 to Q13, we're going to put. We're going to put who reviewed. Amal has reviewed a bunch. Bimal has reviewed a bunch. Komal has reviewed a bunch. We're going to say what has been accepted, what has been rejected, and then we'll make inferences after that. Lovely. Questions 1 to 13. Q2, Q6, Q9, Q11, and Q12 were rejected. Q2 was rejected. Q6, Q9, Q11 and Q12. They were all rejected and then the others were accepted. Amal reviewed only Q2, Q3, Q4. So Amal, Q2, Q3, Q4, Q6, Q8, Q10, Q11 and Q13. Bimal reviewed Q2, Q4, Q6, Q2, Q4, Q6 through Q9. So Q7, Q8, Q9, Q12 and Q13. Komal reviewed only Q1 through Q5. Komal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Q7, Q8. Nice. Q9, Q11 and Q12. We put in who is reviewed, what are that, all of this, we filled all the data in. Let's have a look at this and see if we can make any inferences at all. And so, the first one was approved after having been reviewed by, sorry, I've written it as Kamal, it's Komal, don't worry about it. I've written it as Kamal, it's Komal, some typo, I've just copied everything down, so don't worry about it. Uh, Komal has reviewed and approved it, but this must have been created by Bimal. Komal reviews approved straight away. So no second process. This one's reviewed by Amal, Bimal and Komal. So to start with, one of them has not created it. If any one has created, only the other two can review. So if all three have reviewed, then this has been created by an SME or subject matter expert. So I know that there's one more here. This is also by a subject matter expert. All three have reviewed it. One more here. It's also by a subject matter expert. Created by a subject matter expert, nothing else anywhere. Lovely. So we can fill that in. So we can also fill in who created what. So this one, the first one, if you say this is created by, first one was created by Bimal. Second one, reviewed by Amal and Kamal, it, has, it could have been created by Bimal, not by SME. SME means it would have been Amal and Bimal, then only it will go to Komal. So this again was created by Komal 
rejected it and then amal accepted it this is approved by komal so b and then approved straight away amal bimal then rejected either komal has created it or sme has created it if an sme has created it then it has been rejected by amal and bimal if komal has created it then it has been rejected by amal then by bimal both have rejected it either case k then amal rejects goes to bimal bimal also rejects sme both reject both are possible bimal and kamal this should have been created by amal bimal rejects it then komal accepts it it will go to komal only after only if bimal has rejected it this one is sme we don't know this is split but komal has approved it this goes to sme this is split but komal has rejected it this goes to sme this is split but komal has approved it La, question number 9 has been created by amal because bimal and komal have reviewed it bimal has rejected it and so too has komal so amal has approved it this is created by komal amal and komal have uh, reviewed it that means it must have been created by bimal Komal rejects it. It goes to Amal. Amal also rejected. Last one reviewed by Bimal and Komal must have been created by Amal, and then rejected by Bimal, rejected by Komal. This one reviewed by created by Komal, first reviewed by Amal, rejected, then reviewed by Bimal, in which case it is accepted. Because the final state is accepted. So with this grid, we can figure out pretty much who who. who created each of those questions with some allowance this could have been sme or k but amal and bimal alone have reviewed so the only instance of only amal and bimal have reviewed or amal bimal only amal and bimal have reviewed all three all three only amal and bimal all three only amal amal no bimal this is amal and bimal Okay, this could have been SME or K. Sorry, this has been accepted. Just have to be careful. This could have been K or SME. So we cannot make this inference. Either both could have approved it, in which case it gets approved directly. If it had been created by K, then rejected by Amal, and then accepted by Bimal. So two possibilities exist. This is SME or K. If Amal and Bimal are the only ones who have reviewed it, it would have been SME or created by K. Both are possible. Lovely. so just to recap if sme is created it both approve then it gets approved both reject then it gets rejected if one approves and one reject then it goes to k and then k takes a decision if amal creates then it goes to bimal reviews it first if bimal approves it gets approved if bimal rejects it goes to komal if bimal creates it komal takes the first decision if komal disapproves then it comes to amal if komal creates it then amal looks at it if amal rejects it then it comes to bimal right so just a quick recap of the the, the mechanism there amal bimal kamal these three should have been sme after this we fill step by step we know b is an as very clearly these two are sme or k both possibilities exist this this, this were sme they been rejected by both of them if it were k then it would have been rejected by amal first and then bimal both are rejecting here if this were sme then accepted by both of them if it is k rejected by amal and then accepted by bimal okay. lovely we got this whole thing let's go to the question how many questions were definitely created by amal let's see this this one question number 7 is definitely created by amal question number 9 is definitely created by amal 12 is definitely created by amal we know it for everything except for sme or k in two cases 11 out of the 13 we know who created these two are sme or k amal how many has he created he has created three how many were definitely created by komal so this this one is definitely from komal then nothing else it could be three it could be one it could be two these two are ambiguous one has definitely been created by komal that is this one how many questions were definitely created by the smes 1 2 3 these three 
the other two could have been SME or common. That ambiguity is there. The ones that were reviewed by all three are definitely created by an SME. Ones that were reviewed by only Amal and Bimal could be SME or K. Both are possible. So three were created by the SMEs for sure. How many questions were definitely disapproved by Bimal? Let's see the ones, only the ones where Bimal has reviewed we need to check. So this one. We don't know. One of these two has approved, the other has disapproved. That's why it went there. So Bimal could have approved it. That we are not sure. This one. One of these has approved, the other has disapproved. Bimal could have approved, Amal could have disapproved and then it could have gone to Komal. This again, we cannot be sure. This one. Been rejected. If it had been created by an SME, both should have been, both should have rejected it. If it had been created by K, again both should have rejected it. So Bimal has definitely rejected this one. Question number six. This one, Amal has created, they have been reviewed by Bimal. Because Bimal rejects it, it goes to Komal. So definitely Bimal has rejected this also. This one, once again, it is Amal and Bimal. One yes and one no takes us to Komal. It has been created in SME, we don't know for sure. This one, Bimal and Komal. Only if Bimal rejects it, will it go to Komal. So this has definitely been rejected. This one, Bimal and Komal, Amal has created it. It's been rejected. Both of them have rejected. Definitely Bhima has rejected. Last one been approved. If it had been created by an SME, then both should have approved it. If it had been created by K, Amal rejects and Bhima approves. Definitely Bhima approves. How many have been definitely disapproved by Bhima? 1, 2, 3, 4. Answer should be 4. The approval ratio of a reviewer is the ratio of the number of questions he, she approved to the number of questions he, she reviewed. Which option best describes Amal's approval ratio? How much has they approved by that number he, she has reviewed? Approval ratio. So Amal has created a bunch of questions. Let's see which ones we know for sure that he, she has uh, rejected. This one could have been rejected by one of them, not necessarily, not by both. It would have been Amal saying yes, Bimal saying no. This we can't be sure. Second one, Bimal has created, Amal has definitely approved. This is a definite yes. This don't know. This one, Amal, Bimal, there is an ambiguity. One of them has approved, other has disapproved. Therefore, it has gone to Komal. So, we don't know this. This scenario, SME, or K but getting rejected. If it is SME, both of them should have rejected. So Amal has rejected. If it is K, again Amal should have rejected. Should have gone to Bimal. Bimal should have also get rejected. So this is a no. This one, SME has been approved finally. So Komal has approved it. Between these two, there is one yes and one no. So we don't know for sure. This Amal, Komal has created, Amal has approved straight away. This is a definite yes. This one, Bimal has created it and then it has been disapproved. So it has gone to Komal first, who said no. It has gone to Amal then. Amal has also said no. This is also a no. Final thing, SME or K, it has been approved. If it were SME, both of them should have approved it. If it were K, then Amal has said no and then Bimal has approved. So Amal, we don't know. Bimal has definitely approved this. Amal, we don't know. So Amal has reviewed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 questions of which is definitely rejected 2, definitely accepted 2, is approved 2 for sure, rejected 2 for sure. There are 4 that could have gone either way. 2 yeses sitting there, 2 no sitting there, 4 that would have gone either way. Which option best describes Amal's approval ratio? His approval ratio could be 2 out of 8 or 6 out of 8. There are 2 ticks for sure and 2 being rejected for sure. I mean 2 ticks, 3 ticks, 4 ticks, 5 ticks or 6 ticks. 2 out of 8 to 6 out of 8. All of these are possible. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 8. All of them are possible. So finally the question says what is the ratio? 2 out of 8 to 6 out of 8. 0.25 to 0.75. That is the range we are looking for. How many questions created by Amal or Bimal were disapproved by at least one of the other reviewers? This is created by Bimal. 
this is approved so not that this is created by bimal and been approved but komal has disproved it so this one will count question number 3 is disapproved by komal before going to amal this one b komal approves it so this one won't get counted straight away approved this one is created by a bimal says no to this and then it goes to komal so this one will get counted is created by sme we can ignore amal has created it goes to bimal bimal says no and then komal says no also so this will get counted next one is k ignore that b created by b komal says no and then amal says no both no so this will get counted then created by a goes to bimal bimal says no then komal says no this will also get counted that we won't count how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 question 3 7 9 11 12 have been created by a or b and been disapproved by at least one other reviewer 